Children of the light, as the Apostle Paul calls us in Ephesians 5. Romans 8, 9 to 10. Let me just paraphrase in my own words. Paul said, uh, basically stating or asking, are you, do you live in the flesh or in the spirit? Because we, when we are born again, we receive Christ into our life. Romans 2 says that we receive the Holy Spirit and he circumcises our hearts. He lives in us. Galatians 4 says that God sent his spirit in our hearts when we are saved. Do you live in the spirit or in the flesh? Now, a lot of times when we hear in the spirit, we think almost of as a spirit, just this spiritual being. You know, we always see in movies or programs. Um, or when we hear the word spirit, just this almost ghost-like entity. But when the New Testament, in the culture and the time and the philosophy of the time, speaks of spirit and flesh, especially Paul that has a very much Jewish but also Greek upbringing, he refers to the focus of your life. Spirit focus means on what is God's will, God's desire, God's kingdom. When you live in the spirit, you live to God's honor, focus on him doing his will and promoting his kingdom. When you live in the flesh, you only look for what pleases you and what makes you happy. My question today is Romans 8, 9 to 10. Do you as a Christian live in the spirit or in the flesh? Because there might even be some that say if you live in the flesh... Maybe salvation isn't, your salvation isn't true, said with kindness. It's time to reflect on your life and decide whether you want to take your salvation seriously and live in the Spirit for God's glory and focused on Him and stop caring about so many things of this world and the physical needs. Keep your eyes fixed on heaven.